Hello everyone, welcome and back we're to round back. Yeah, we're back. I'm my name is Joshua Esty. I'm Addison Myers. And this is round three of the local host um in Lakewood. A last round, right? Yep, last round actually, in a PC. And we will um get you um a Brian versus Brett um for round three. These players are two victories. Zero losses. There's no top cut for this event, which means that this um, match will vic uh, decide who gets first in the in the tournament overall. So this is the final round, and this is a very important match. So we will see how that plays out, and we're getting ready for each trainer to get into Team Fuji right now. We're setting up that land mode. Land. Land. Yes, as the you're the land. Master, the <laughs> landlord, of course. I am land master. The land master. This is the wrong franchise, but it should be starting pretty soon, right here. There we go. Yeah. Oh, <laughs> that was bothering me all of last game. Yeah. <laughs> uh, that's okay. All right, and on on Brett's side, we see Whimsicott. Jerulon, a Vanillux, so some ice type, so maybe some super pale in this end. Cinderace and Conkleberry. Maybe picking, it, to me, when I look at this team, it doesn't have much, it seems to have very little synergy, but very strong mons overall. Maybe there is some hidden synergy that we can't see here. We've seen Brian's team from That's previous rounds. Jelly. That jelly. Doing a lot of support roles. Jelly stuff. Right, so we see a lot occurring right here. A male and DD, we haven't seen yet. This tournament. I don't think we've seen um, in this tournament either starter Pokemon. Yeah, that's interesting. I think out of all of them, I think Cinderace is the most common. And I think I still like the snow jumping. The fear running away from the giant uh, Gigantamax Pokemon is pretty cool. But I still think jumping out of the snow is my favorite card. Yeah, I have to agree. And we see Wimscott Derulodon coming out from Brett. And on the other side, Togekiss Durant. So we'll see what um what this matchup and Susan both are interesting. It's the first time seeing Durant this tournament. I know. Where's my aunt representation? Well we just got it at least. Yeah. Um He's vibing. Yeah, he's vibing. He's big. Big old aunt. Can you imagine like having an aunt that big? Like this thing is just like a just Imagine big <laughs> having a pet ant and he's like the size. Oh my god, and he's made of, like, his exterior is made of steel? And his eyes are bloodshot. Oh my gosh. No, I can only imagine. <laughs> oh, and there's a Dynamax Durant. Big Durant. Through. What is going to happen here with our move? We're going to see another oh. Dynamax coming off on Brett's side. Most likely the Duraludon. We see that Duraludon coming out of a Beast Ball. It's fun. Nice choice. It's fancy. There it is. Big old building. I know a lot of Durants, they either run Stomping Tantrum or Superpowers, so... So, good count. We'll see what occurs. I'm anticipating maybe something interesting. Oh, we see a Togekiss follow me! What's going to happen? Um, and what, what will ensue here? We're going to see a Switcheroo! Oh. Maybe intended for that Durant, but the follow me direct redirecting that. And Togekiss getting the eject button. Scope Lens was the what, what that Togekiss was holding all along. We see a max round coming out of the into the Darudon. Yep. I'm not taking the KO quite yet, but it's doing it did a lot of damage. And the special defense rising from both people, both Togekiss and Durant, which will help it able to take the max steel spike here. With the steel spike and eject button, that Togekiss might have to go. It oh. will have to go. Lives on three though. But that it'll come in handy for later, as um. The nice thing about using Follow Me is Brian gets a free switch into whatever Pokemon he has in the back. And that Durant is now feeling a lot safer now, knowing that he can't get eject buttoned out. So now an opposing Whimsicott coming in. Both two giant steel types and one small. <laughs> it's kind of <laughs> weird. Two giant steel monsters, or one cotton boy. I think the Cotton Boy is what wins here, <laughs> because it just supports the big steel, <laughs> the giant steel mon. We have Mecha Godzilla, Max Guard coming out. I think we'll see what 
the wind's got using tailwind no on the Brian side. And what are we seeing? Are we seeing an op opposing tailwind? So speed tiers will stay the same for the <laughs> for all these rounds. Max, Max Quake, Quake into the Max Guard. Guard you, trying to burn up those Dynamax turns with Durant. It's good. Would have been a very scary turn for Brett if um, Brian had decided to go for Max Bug on the... Um, or Steel Spike. Or Steel Spike, even, yeah. We could see a lot... <laughs> a lot could happen in this turn. All right. We see him opposing... Moonblast going to do a little bit of chip on that Whimsicott. 57, Moonblast Return, going to knock out that Darulodon. So now the Durant is free to kill the Whimsicott. Likely to, it's likely to have, it doesn't have a Sash, oh, because it, it has the Eject Button, so it, it will get the KO, actually. And it's choosing to do Max Rockfall, which should finish it off. Maybe forgetting that it doesn't have no. Sash. That might cost him a little mm -hmm. bit. Setting up Sand may, may help that, it out, though, though. We'll see, Dynamax turns are over for Durant as well, which means that hustle ability will come into play more with that accuracy drop side, the negative part of it. Yeah. I think the Whimsicott's are at a speed tie, so it might be a gamble as to which one will Moonblast the other. Yeah. Ooh, and that's Cinderace. Cinderace coming in to try to counter that Durant. We'll see what happens in this, in this combination. Both are pretty well evenly matched here, with the slight advantage going toward Brian, since he has more than a couple Pokemon. That Max Rockfall may betray him later with that Togekiss at three health. Who knows? Whimsicott's gonna use Protect here. Not, I don't see that ma happen too much. And there's the Pyro oh, Ball. Pyroball. Gonna knock out that Durant. It's gonna hurt quite a bit. Yeah. Cinderace is one of the few fire types that, that can outspeed. Oh, Critical hit. Although I don't think that mattered. Probably. Ball does have base 120. It has stab at the same time. Goodness. So now we have the fade at the by the standstorm. <laughs> we can see a lot of things coming from here. What do we? I wonder what Brian's last Pokemon is on the field. I think this would might have been a different game if the Max Bug had come out from that Durant on its last turn rather than although maybe he opted for max rock fall um although i don't oh and there's the conqueror is the last pokemon it's actually really good it, i think the conqueror is in a really good position right now and to be honest that mock punch is going to is going to come into play here which could m spell some interesting shenanigans with um that close and wins got maybe something go for something that it hasn't gone before or before. And we're gonna see another pyro ball coming from um a Still it the is fastest hitting. thing on the field gonna take the KO on that Wimscott. So no mock punch coming from the Conqueror. From Conqueror. Moonblast coming in. Maybe opting to go for a drain punch on the Cinderace. If it it's gonna definitely be able to tank this. Special to attack drop not really mattering for that Conqueror. It, it really likes that. And here's the Drain Punch, as per, we said before. That's actually, a lot of damage. Cinderace is not very bulky, so... Nope, and a critical. Critical hit. We don't we don't know if that mattered. Let's see. With that... Who um, does Brett have in the back? That is a good question. Brett is able to... Um, Tailwind is no out. No more Tailwind, but with the Sandstorm out, that Togekiss will only last one more turn. turn. Yeah, Sandstorm will unfortunately last two more turns here. Nilix changing it to actually to Ice. So um, Togekiss's doom was spelled in the first, and anyway. For Togekiss. Yes, for Togekiss. <laughs> see, we see the very screams of agony in the background as as video game pl You can <laughs> hear the wild gamers in the background. Yes. We see a follow me from the Togekiss, and we're gonna see a Moonblast coming in into the Togekiss slot. S Protecting that Conkledur. From that Moonblast, super effective Moonblast. You think, if, if Conkledur can take uh, this this blizzard and not get frozen, it'll be in a really good position. Drain Punch, gonna knock, most likely knock out that Vanillix. Ooh, it has one health left, is that Focus Sash? It yep. is Focus Sash. 
However, so the Cockle does have ma Mock Punch, and that Blizzard, he should be able to take one more. One more damage. The Whimsicott is going to not go down. I think if Conkleter can choose what it, I think a crit is what Fret needs to pull this out, because I think mo if, he, if the Mock Punch comes out, it can knock out one Pokemon, but I don't... Brett needs both Pokemon to, or a crit, to actually knock out the Conkledur. On the contrast, yeah, there's the Mach Punch. He's going to choose to knock out the Whimsicott. Now, no more Moonblast. Here's the risk of that, that this Blizzard, Blizzard also has a chance to freeze, and if that freeze happens, it could go to Brett. No, no freeze. No freeze. So this game will, that most likely, um, unless there's a misclick, will go to Brian. <laughs> All right, Brett using Protect to stall out the turns. I don't know how long he can stall out this um, this Conkledur. Mock Punch has a lot of PP, and I don't think that he has enough turns to keep the hail going. I don't think the hail has the potential to get the damage down. Nope, there's the Mock Punch, and that's game one. Game one. All right. All right. Brian takes game one. We'll see how game two will go very soon. Hopefully easier for the one. Yeah. All right. We'll see they're there on the stream to catch up with this and once we have that we'll um, we'll be able to get team preview for round two I like our subtitle for the tournament it's called big monitor edition oh, whoa. <laughs> Everyone got their yep. yes yeah, so the one thing about the local host is that we have a lot of monitors that we can actually use to um, play instead of having to look on the tiny switch screen very nice perks Thank you, local host, for having us. All right, here's round two, team preview. We saw Vanillix having that weather. Um, can do a little bit of chip. Surprising to see that Togekiss living on just three. The switcheroo, max steel spike, that max ground came in handy. As we saw, that, vol that follow me can change how the game plays out completely. Yep, and now we do know that the um Whimsicott doesn't have Focus Sash, and it's running Switcheroo. So, and it has the Eject button. Yeah, so Brian has to be way more conscious about what he brings as a Dynamax Pokemon, because that Whimsicott could end up taking it out at any mo um, out of the field at any point, giving him a supreme disadvantage. All right, here's round two. This music's fun. I know we've got some epic gamer music in here. Now the Pokemon are dancing. <laughs> <laughs> got the dancing. All the we got some tunes. Uh, you guys can't hear them, unfortunately, but we got some very nice tunes from the local host in the background. Just so you see. I'm a big uh, big fan of EDM in general, so it's hearing that for this for something like this is pretty exciting. So we have Cinderace, Cinderace instead for Brad. And Conkledur for Brian. Ooh. And the Togekiss. We didn't see a Flame Orb from that Conkledur last time, so I wonder what item it's actually running. And what maybe it might be running a different ability. There's the Jealous, that maybe Ooh. trying to take a Drain Punch. Follow me coming in. Probably going to try to get that eject, uh, the, use the Switcheroo. Yeah, try to keep it, um, keep his items unknown, as now Togekiss has the Eject button. The drain Punch coming in. Not going to affect Jellicent. A good turn for Brett. I think it's mostly neutral because the Togekiss can now take whatever hit it wants. That's true. And these aren't known, these, these two aren't known for being really big attackers. So it still could be. However, Whimsicott is like, going to opt for Tailwind. He could have switched Rude to start shuffling up items for both once again. However, the oh, Strang Sap is going to come in. Not going to heal that Jellicent, really, because it's full health, but going to just go opt to lower Conkledur's attack. Air Slash coming off onto the on the Jellicent. Going to do a decent amount of damage. Thunder, Thunder Punch. Punch. Minus one. Yeah, not doing too much. 
not doing too much, but there we see the leftovers on the Jellicent. It's going to heal it up a little bit. We'll see. I think um, Togek... I think Brian got a little bit more momentum on that turn. Togek still hasn't been knocked out from that... Um, from the eject button being placed upon it. So it'll be interesting to see. Conkleberry's going to actually switch out here. Probably they switch into Milotic for the trying to bait the uh, the strength sap. Togekiss is gonna end up switching out, probably back into Conkleder. Maybe into something else. We'll see. As Milotic might get this strength sap, and it's gonna lower its attack, but buff its special attack by two, which could be dangerous for Brett here. And without the eject button. Brian might be free to Dynamax that my little. Oh, and there's the Whimsicott. Whimsicott, his own Whimsicott. There is the Strength, strength Sap. Sap. Brian taking full advantage of that um, of that Jellicent with my Lodic there. Competitive getting the boosts, but in the in in You're not per. Anything? Hmm? You're not talking. No, she is. I am. <laughs> and um. <laughs> we're seeing the Strength Sap and leftovers healing Jellicent almost to full. So that Milotic looking really strong. Yeah, full health plus two special attack. Now Whimsic uh, the opposing Whimsicott can um, Brian's Whimsicott can kill him if it wants to. Matching speeds and in front of with the Jellison up on the field, they could um they could swing. And there's things. the Tailwind. Tailwind matching up the speeds. We don't see a Dynamax from um, either side. From either side. And there's the Moonblast going into the opposing Whimsicott. It's gonna take the hit pretty well. Ice Beam Ice coming beam. out. Gonna knock out the opposing Whimsicott. No Sash, because of the it's switcheroo strategy. And that's the first KO of this game. Shadow that's Ball. Shadow Come Ball. Trying to get rid of this Whimsicott. All Whimsicotts are now down. All right, we see a very bulky Jellicent and a very strong, a boosted um, Milotic. On this. Very strong. And the thing is, we have to consider later into the battle is that um, that both Whimsicots are down and Brett set his tailwind earlier than Brett's. So later in the field, the speed advantage will end up going to Brian. Um, so we have Togekiss back out on the field. That Duraludon is there, but... However, that plus two Milotic is there with a lot of extra abil the ability to kind of move around. We're going to see a Dynamax, likely that Duraludon from Brett. There it is, giant building. Oh yeah, we've seen many giant buildings on stream so far. I think yeah, isn't this the third one we've seen today? I think it is. All right, and we're gonna see a Dynamax. Is that going to be Togekiss or Milotic? Is the question here? It's the Milotic. Milotic. Gonna take advantage of that plus two special attack. Hopefully he can use that to his advantage. We'll see. Can he choose to go for max um max water or max ice? Most likely hitting the Toge Kiss for that spike. Well, no, no, it will not. It was a good pickup um KO uh, of Brett. However, defense is not gonna really matter against that Milotic. But when that Conkleder comes out. In, that will be the difference there. Let's see how much damage this um this max hailstorm is actually gonna end up doing. <laughs> It does about uh, a good, a good a little over half, and the hail has been set, which means that they're going to take a little bit of chip damage from that hail. Shadow Ball is going to come in. If that special defense drop happens, ooh, that would have been scary for, for Brett there. Do we know if the Conkleder has Thunder Punch? Yeah, we did see that last yeah. game. So it does. So you do know it does have that if it wants to take out Jellison. Yes. So we'll see how it, it, it plays out here, because... I think it could go swing either way. The tailwind, neither Tailwind has petered out quite yet. The Conglider does have an advantage against both of Brett's Pokemon. That is true. With that, having that diverse move spread, it can really cover a lot of those weaknesses. We'll have to see if a move from Duraludon can take it out. Yeah. Max Guard coming out from the Duraludon. 
Max Hailstorm actually going into the Jellison. Did, did Brian predict this? Does a lot of damage. Not a lot, but Max Hailstorm. Thunder Punch. Yeah, he is did expect it. Did expect it. Doesn't do enough damage to Jellicent, unfortunately, and the but Strength Jellicent Sap. with the defense boots. Yeah, Strength Sap is going to come back and it's going to heal all the way. And so despite all of um, Brian's predictions, that Max Steel Spike from the previous round really came through. So we'll have to see. Eventually, the Jellicent can't Strength Sap either of these. Yeah. Milotic is a little bit too dangerous at the moment, I think. But we'll see. And Milotic already has minus one attack from the original Strength Sap. But it has plus two special attack from the competitive But boost. Strength Sap doesn't do oh, it special heals. attack. So yeah, you're right. the Jellicent might eventually not be able to heal anymore. We'll see. I think the Kong Kelder, um, my, I think Milotic is going to be have to pull most of this game here. Max Hailstorm is coming once again onto the Darulodon to finish it off. And the question I have here is what comes in next? Is the Vanillix with that scary freeze drop? Uh, the, um, yeah, Cinderace will come out because they were here turn one. Oh, yeah, you're right. Did not see that. Thank critical you. hit with rock slide. Does that get the flinch? And flinch. That's big. Wow, that is super big. For critical hit and a flinch. Very big for for Brian. Let's see how that can that might play out. Cinderace is coming in next, and I think the tailwind advantage for Brian has finally ended. So it is even speed tiers, and likely that um, all Dynamaxes are also over. We did see last time with the Pyro Ball that Cinderace did a lot of damage to Conkholder. Who knows what else it's carrying? Brian can get it simply down to just Jellicent. He might be able to pull the victory here. My look protecting. Opting to protect instead of moving. Pyroball going into that Conkelder slot. I think, um, let's see what happens. Shadow Ball takes yep. the protect on onto the Conkelder. And my Lodic did not need to protect there. However, Conkelder lives in and gets that rock slide in. It's going to do a lot of damage to both Pokemon. And that hail is still doing quite a bit of damage to everyone on the field. That jump, but however, Jellison has its leftovers to come back that hail damage. I think this may turn into a Jellicent versus Milotic. I think so, and I think that Milotic probably will win that, that combat simply because it already has plus two. And if it tries Strength Sap, my look is just going to get stronger. Better, yeah. So even trying to heal it is going to make it a really difficult situation. So the Conkloder not going for a Mock Punch. Mock Punch here. But I think that keeping it distracted, the Scald is going to take the kill on Cinderace, which I think is what is needed for um, Brian. Although Shadow Ball is the other thing. Scald, opting to go for Scald instead, maybe going for that burn. And did not get the burn. Kill right. is over. We have a plus two Jellicent versus a, a I mean plus two Milotic versus a Jellicent. So we will see how that plays out. If the actually. Jellicent does get a special defense drop, that could be huge. Yeah. Special defense drop. It could be big swing for either person. Also, these ice beams. If one freeze, it could spell doom for Brett. Will O Wisp opting to burn. Interesting choice. Gonna try to whittle down that Milotic as fast as it can. However, that leftovers, I don't know how much of a benefit that's going to give. As you said, it's one, that one tenth chance to freeze is could be devastating. It does have, however, the Jellison does have Scald, which could, will be able to combat that. It just forces the Milotic. Milotic will choose to protect here. Interesting choice. Shadow Ball. I'm going to try to burn some PP, but this is. Uh, it's just letting the Jellicent get heal, health. And you're going to lose a little bit of health on uh, from Milotic, unless Milotic has, is carrying a, something that we're not seeing. Maybe. Yeah, we do not know their item yet, I think. We know that. We know Jellicent's, but not Milotic's. Yeah. Okay. Maybe he was trying to maximize this recover here. Hmm. This might go to timer. 
where Timer might be in play. We'll see. Maybe. It's rolling time. Yeah. So there's a Shadow Ball. No shadow special ball defense, defense drop. That, and Milotic is taking that Shadow Ball very well. we'll and it see. still has Recover in the back. Recover, and that, I think, gives Milotic the advantage here. Special defense drop would it would play an interesting role in both. However, Ice Beam is going to take it a little bit more chip. The Strength Sap is going to put it at a very interesting place. But here, no, no special, special defense, defense drop there. That is looking a little bit scary for both players here. Oh my goodness. This is kind of crazy, actually. Still cannot see the overall match time. Yeah. So we're still looking. Each player has not combined is over 10 minutes of play time. So it could, I don't know how long this is going to last. Because uh, I think if you, I don't, the players can skip, but they both have the same amount of health this turn. It's gross on percentage. So the thing is, is that Strength Sap is going to hurt. That breath the Strength Sap is out of the question. So well, the Jellicent might be hoping for a critical hit. Yeah. Or a special defense drop. drop. But either one is actually... The crit is the only situation where it helps Pret since um, the special defense drops cr cr creates another competitive boost. So I'm not liking um, its situation here for for Brett. That ice beam is just whittling it down little by little. And maybe hoping for maybe using the strength step as a last turn swing in terms of HP. No special defense drop yet and no freeze. I know. I, the freeze is big because it, it forces Brett to go for Scald, which is less damage. So, you, no, no big RNG moments happening right here. It's just all just pure damage. Whittling down. Shadow Ball once again. Is that going to get the special defense drop? There, yeah, it, is. there it is. There it is. And wow. competitive. Competitive is going to activate. Now it is a plus four Milotic. It's three times the damage that it normally would do. Let's see. Both Pokemon are pretty low on health. And but the Milotic does have Recover, and recover. Strength Sap won't heal nearly as much. Here's the thing, though. If if he gets the Strength Sap, then, um, and Milotic's already at plus six, there's no harm in just keeping going with the Strength Saps, even though you're getting less health. I think Milotic's only at plus four. Yes, but one more strength, one strength sap will put it to plus six. But then after that, you can free the strength sap once more. True, but your strength saps will do less and less, while recover will keep doing the, the same, same amount. amount. You're right. I'm curious to see how this plus four ice beam is going to do to the um, jellicent. And we're starting to see the timer up at the beginning, up at the top of the. We're going to see recover coming in. I think we have about thirty seconds based on what we have here. That is looking really good for Brian here. Jellison is slowly healing, but but I don't think it one I, an ice. I think Brian is comfortable to go with an ice beam here. This is this is going to be the last turn of the of the battle. Hoping for a recover. Recover, because I don't think the strength sap is going to heal enough. Full health, shadow ball, and opting to go for shadow ball instead. I don't think it's going to do enough. <laughs> and I think with that, they'll enter their last moves and the battle will be over with Brett as the victor. I believe that, that my Lodic has a higher percentage of health. And the battle is over. There it is. Yep. All right. Congratulations, Brian, for winning our PC today. And I hope all of you have a great rest of your day. I'm Josh. I'm Addison. And we'll see you guys next time.